Time is precious when you're doing a PhD. That's why in just 120 seconds, I'll show you a tool that can help you filter through your to be read folder and figure out which papers are actually relevant to your research. Today, we're gonna to be using Sci Summary, who is our sponsor for today's video. Now, firstly, you're gonna to wanna to search or upload a paper. So I've picked one on microbial diversity. Then after you've uploaded your article, the next thing you wanna do is summarize it. So if you click onto the article, you get all sorts of different options, summarize by section, summarize the whole article, summarize with an area of focus, key points, simplify, blog post, opportunities for future research, lots of different options. Also, you can adjust the word count and the language as well. Then if you hit request new summary and wait just a few moments, now you can gauge an understanding of the paper with references. You can see where the different insights are found and you can open those pages directly within the tool. If there's something else that you'd like to find out, you can also use the chat option with the document to see if it's actually useful for your project or literature review. If the paper is right for your project, make sure you give it a full read because AI can certainly help. And as you can see, you get all sorts of really interesting insights, but it is not a substitute for your own reading, your own thinking and your own analysis. Summarization tools can be huge time savers, helping you summarize the masses of research papers to help you work out the insights from each paper. Then you can decide which papers deserve more time before you implement them into your literature review. If you would like to try summarizing your own papers with a free month of size summary, then please visit the phdplace.com forward slash summary, where you'll also find a full link to this paper.